Hi, this is Jeff Blauett, technical agronomist with Cooperative Farmers Elevator. And on this week's Field Friday segment, um, we're kind of out in the you know harvested bean field here. Um, you know, even though we're not nearly done with harvest yet, uh, we're looking at uh, some of the decisions we're making now, or you know, starting to work towards looking at next year's crop. Um, after bean harvest in a lot of areas we end up applying either some anhydrous nitrogen or some hog manure which has nitrogen in it um, and we're going to hopefully that you know carries into next year to feed our corn crop um, but there are a few things we need to think about uh, when making some of these applications um, we always talk about soil temps in the fall being important um, and there's reasons for that um, right now our soil temps are in the you know upper 60s, low 70s with a forecast. It looks like we're probably going to stay with these warm soil temperatures for a while. Um, a lot of the things that we're doing, uh, applying nitrogen, whether it's anhydrous or manures, whether it's dairy or hog manure, um, if we're hoping that nitrogen hangs around, we need to keep it in a non-mobile form. Um, We've all heard about you know, our nitrogen pollution, those types of things into our environment, and they always talk about nitrate pollution. Uh, the reason for that is our soils have a negative charge if we go back to basic chemistry. Uh, remember, like charges repel and opposite charges attract. So if nitrate has a negative charge and we're losing that with our water through the you know, tile lines, etc., cetera, um, that tells us that we need to do something different. The ammonium forms of nitrogen, which is where a lot of our nitrogen in our manures and in our anhydrous starts. Uh, we want to keep it at that in that form so it's attracted to our soil, then it won't move with water. Um, that conversion happens in the soil as the soil temperatures are warmer with the microbial activity. There's, there's bacteria in the soil that will convert that ammonium or ammonia nitrogen into a nitrate form and we want to stop that. There are some nitrogen stabilizers that we you know, use quite a bit of in the fall. Um, they're basically an insurance policy. They're trying to buy us some time. If we have to apply nitrogen when the soil temperatures are warmer, uh, when the microbial activity is more active, we have some options to buy us some time. I realize, we all realize that the logistics of getting manure done, it has to go on before the soil temperatures are below 50 in a lot of cases. And that's where we have to look at the insurance policies especially. Um, I just looked at some soil temperatures. What kind of a time frame are we looking for? Uh, the last 10 years, our average uh, calendar date, you might say, for our temperatures getting below 50 and kind of staying below 50 is the October 13th um, in the area. So we've got a few weeks here yet before that comes into play. That's on average. We've had years where it almost gets up towards that last week or the end of October before we get you know, down to that soil temperature. So we have some time we want to help uh, keep that nitrogen from being converted in the soil. Again, Instinct or NSERV are basically an insurance policy. They're not, an over, they're not always a given that they're going to pay back, but they're basically uh, helping buy us some time and helping us uh, or decreasing our risk just like any insurance policy would. For the cost of a couple, three bushels of corn, um, that's what we're looking at. Beyond that, even if we're going out with the soil temperatures that are cooler with later applications of manure and so forth, there's benefits going into next spring. Uh, some of our uh, highest nitrogen losses also end up being if we get the frost out and get, if we ever would get some decent moisture levels, if we get moisture going through that profile in late March and through April, um, even if we're planting it in mid-April, the corn, we don't have much of a root system there and our, really our needs for nitrogen don't really pick up until into June away. So we have a lot of calendar date and those are some warmer soil conditions hopefully in the spring. So we're trying to buy more time, get that nitrogen to stay in that stable form until our soil, you know, our soils are you know, going to convert them, but our, our roots are able to start taking them up next spring. So that's kind of what the game is um, as far as what some of our options are and keeping our, our nitrogen, it's an investment. We're putting it out there to feed a crop, so it's obviously an investment. We want to keep it around to help us out. So just wanted to bring you up on where we're at soil temperature wise, what, you know, some things that we have to consider here uh, going forward into this fall and what it would do for us in the spring. So with that, that's this week's Field Friday segment and we'll see you next week.